Good evening folks, welcome to the channel Connect Talks, an initiative by LD Global Mumbai chapter and collaboration with Pragati Software, a space for co-working. Today we have Kalanam Venkat Raman sir, who is an ex-army officer from the course of engineering, who has a rich experience of 25 plus years of experience. Welcome to the show sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, uh, today, uh, actually we have called you for talking uh, on the topic of uh, making graduates job ready. What is your take on it sir? Uh, good evening everyone and uh, Pranavesh, Director l &D. Yeah. First of all, I must thank you very much for having given me this opportunity to okay. interact with uh, the world at large. Thank you sir. And uh, specifically, of course, with Indians because this is a problem that is touching us very deeply today. Wonderful. Um, a little about myself, uh, I am a retired uh, engineer as you said from the armed forces. I spent uh, about 25 years there after which I also had a rich experience in the industry in companies like uh, C.B. Richard Ellis and uh, DLF. Uh, I've also done, uh, I've been head of uh, organizational development wow. in a company, in, in fact in a hospitality group wow. where I was heading the training team. Because of my passion in teaching, for the last 12 years I've been teaching either as a visiting faculty, an adjunct faculty and now as a full-time faculty. Wow. So it's been a nice journey, uh, a good smooth transition for me, thank God. More importantly, I uh, feel uh, very strongly about the topic that you have mentioned because uh, having interacted with students, especially uh, uh, MBA students and uh, it hurts me badly when they are uh, working hard, putting in a lot of money and then they don't find jobs. It, it really hurts. That's so bad uh, yes. today, actually. So uh, we need to really connect and the dots and find out where the problem lies. Uh, skilling as a whole in India is a big problem. We all know that. People are not finding jobs everywhere. There are doctors who are, I mean, there are PhDs who are applying for PUNS jobs. No. Uh, there are many okay. articles in the newspapers. Uh, yeah. I won't touch upon that. However, I'm going to focus a little into why graduates and postgraduates are not finding the kind of uh, employment that they desire or they aspire for and, okay. and, and what to do about it. Obviously, okay. it's not just talking about a problem, but talking about the solution as well. Wow. Um, now, let's talk a little bit, bit about the problem, at least in uh, MBAs, uh, because I've been closely associated with MBAs. Uh, we churn out thousands of MBA graduates in a year, uh, but you'll be shocked to know that 7.29% of these uh, MBAs in finance are really getting jobs in finance or are employable. Out of the 100%? Yes. Oh. So this is pathetic and therefore it shows a big malaise that students are not employable. It's not about uh, not getting employment but being employable. That is the difference. Okay. Okay. So the real problem lies that students are just after their degrees. Okay. Okay. So unfortunately, that's a raise of question out here that uh, as you said employability uh, comes in question right it comes in question because um, uh, we in our country have a very strong desire probably it's our culture that uh, you know kheloge uh, khudoge banoge kharab likhoge padoge banoge dawab the accent is just on studying and getting a degree oh. you look at the west there's so much of importance given to vocational education right from the start exactly and people take pride Exactly. But here, if you take pride in anything that is not connected to studies, parents look down upon you. Forget the rest of the people. Oh, They don't encourage you. So this has to change. Okay. okay. Now, honestly, I don't blame the students. But after all, they are telling, I mean, they are following what their peers tell them. Uh, that reminds me, there's a little bit of a problem with the students also. Or rather, I would say with the younger generation. Uh, I wouldn't really want to be castacized for the so-called generation gap, but surely there is a IKE malaise going on. I okay. know everything. everything. Exactly. And uh, again, it's because of the advent of the internet, Google, and some students say Google is my best teacher. But the point is that uh, what they don't realize is that there's a wealth of experience that people can share with them. Exactly. And they need to listen. Exactly. Uh, we have mentoring in colleges, but the students come because they are supposed to come. 
and uh, if you look at a student uh, uh, generally they come for the classes but their interaction is very low in the class okay five days before the exam they come sir notes they do important questions they do so the whole accent is i'm going to pass this exam i'm going to get 80% chance. exactly so they are only looking behind the degrees and the marks and the marks, marks. oh they are so marks focused that they lose out on skilling and now let us come to the next point what are the skills that make you employable okay what are the skills because i have been very fortunate um since i have had a stint in the industry and i was in hr although i was doing od um you know in the industry they make you do everything you become yes. a jack of uh, or, all or, trades yeah so i've done a lot of hiring there's a day actually you won't believe when i did 60 telephonic interviews oh and luckily they were with freshers okay. second round okay so every time i keep understanding the problem where students are going wrong okay and uh, what they really need okay besides the uh, and in fact forget about that they don't even have the domain skills of the knowledge oh so There what are, are your basic observations from this interview number one they lack communication skills oh uh, unfortunately unfortunately again english is the lingua franca in the industry today okay. so whether you like it or not you got to master it okay now if i compare education also education may uh, do you think soft skill is necessary or hard skills are necessary i will just come to that certainly hard skills are required you need to know your job, job. you need to master how to do it the domain but expert is basically but more important are the soft skills the so called soft skills are the real skills that get you across okay you'll be surprised there are students who don't know how to eat with a fork and spoon oh and when they go to the industry they cut their stuff and it starts flying around <laughs> thank you okay. so the basic are, etiquettes the basic business etiquettes they don't know to say good morning when they enter the office okay. unfortunately uh, i i got students they come with chappals to college and <coughs> i tell them why sir for the interviews we'll go in our uh, good dress comfort why ha huh? why don't you make it a habit why don't you get used to dressing well exactly that's what they should do they should nurture it as a habit they should be proud of being smartly Smart dressed all the while exactly. and not for that one day so these are small things in addition you got interpersonal skills okay how you get along with people okay that is very important okay. and one of my friends told me rightly the one thing that i will look for when i want to hire somebody today is not even domain knowledge okay it is the openness to learn are you willing to learn if you are willing to learn you are in because that is again a big big setback okay. like i told you the ike formula exactly i know everything i don't need to be told that is one of the biggest problems oh. how to how to overcome this then uh, well, any challenges or any ideas that you can give us certainly the viewers oh sure that's what i was again coming to we experienced people who been here seen it all especially people in the lnd can certainly take a big step forward in trying to do something to change this rather than just looking at it as a problem the solution is mentor them but don't try to tell them look you're not doing this right okay tell them this is a better way to do it okay and and also what lnd can do is create some bridge courses okay okay you know this is very important okay. uh academicia also in colleges need to make the teaching the faculty are also to play part i would say in the okay. sense okay. that you've got to move away from just textbook teaching it's it to teaching with the industry as a background okay you've got to make them go out there learn and one of the best ways is project based learn okay. let them do as many projects so is it kind that. of uh, if i can uh, just uh, group it up or sum it up to experiential learning you can say very good point okay let them learn while doing while doing absolutely right so the more projects they do the more they interact with the industry firstly they gain the experience from the industry secondly they make connections they got to go out and make connections okay that is vital for them wonderful wonderful thank you so much when it's sir uh, uh, i have a question here yes. okay what is the most critical quality the hirers look for yeah as i told you one is willingness to learn openness okay. to learning and second again is empathy and eq now these why i'm combining it is when you have empathy the ability to you know uh, live others experiences you will not tell them to do something that you can't do 
Okay. Number one. Okay. And when you talk about EQ, it's about handling your emotions. And okay. therefore, you need to understand <coughs> that in the industry, you want to work under a lot of stress. Oh. So okay. those people need to be able to handle their stress. Stress management, basically. Okay. Next question. Uh, how important are marks to get good jobs today? Yes. This is what I've been telling you again and again. Okay. That students are so focused towards marks that they lose out on doing anything else. Exactly. And therefore, why? Uh, again, I will tie it to our culture. Okay. Our culture, even today, an HR manager, okay. because they don't have the time, okay. and they've been told, the, the, the VP tells them, wait, I want the person by tomorrow. Oh, I don't care. So by evening, you have to give them uh, at least 30 candidates. Okay. Now the Nokri.com gives them 3,000 candidates. 3,000 candidates. And if they have to reduce it to 30, the easiest way for them is anyone above 70%. Okay. Simple. Okay. So when the industry itself is asking for students with a cutoff, huh. what do you expect a student to do? Therefore, I would request this that is a the pressure student, kind of. This is a pure pressure that yes. the student have. Yes. I guess. So I would request the industry also to consider, take time to read the entire CV, see what the student has done and not just stop them, stop good candidates just because they don't have 70%. Look at the entire CV. Okay. The question that I have is, uh, what should students do to get a job ready? Um, students should have an open mind. Okay. Number one, they should be very focused. Okay. They should be clear of where they want to go. Okay. Very often I've seen students from my personal experience uh, who end up joining finance only because their best friend is in finance. Oh. Okay. And then for the rest of their lives they are suffering. Okay. So they've got to make a choice, a very rational choice depending upon their aptitude. Okay. Number one. Number two, once the focus is done, then put all your energy very clearly into going where you want to go. And oh. by that it means not just study hard but also do a lot of projects, <coughs> do a lot of industry interfaces, get to know people, network, improve your communication skills and your interpersonal skills and just go out and conquer the world. Thank you. That was really wonderful uh, words by you are said. Uh, the next question that I have is how can institutes reshape themselves to ensure good placement? Well. Institutes are certainly doing a lot in the first place to do. I have done placements almost uh, for about four or five years myself. Oh. And I can certainly say, speaking from my personal experiences, that uh, the college puts in a lot of hard work. Okay. But sometimes where they go wrong is um, trying to give students the job that they want to give them and not finding out Correct. what job students really want. Correct. Also, they need to uh, clearly counsel students. Okay. depending upon their aptitude because okay. quite often students are themselves confused okay. what they want to do and okay. most important they have to build a very strong alumni network correct invite absolutely. alumni for talks have festivals get togethers perfect keep the touch exactly connect very strong connect so that you certainly have a good uh, uh, i mean a, a good place to bank upon that's again amazing point that you have delivered out here if I want uh, to ask you, uh, can you just sum it up the entire conversation to the viewers? Uh, to uh, put it in a nutshell, okay. you see there are three people here who are the prime players. Okay. One is the government, Okay. one is the industry okay. and one is obviously the academia, the, the schools, these schools are the teachers, <coughs> whatever. Okay. Now these three vertices of the triangle need to be in sync. Oh, okay. And at 60 degrees. So that's a triangle degrees. basically. Okay. So they need to be in sync. Each one knows, needs to know what the other is doing okay. or what the other needs or the other wants and work together. Okay. That's kind of an important. interdependency kind of thing. Uh, not just interdependency. It's like uh, ensuring that all three work together to help out the student okay. get his... Okay. So job. interconnected basically. Yeah. Interconnected and working in tandem. Oh, that wow. is very important. Okay. Well, many a times it seems that it's out of sync. The government does something, the industry does something, or the industry wants something. Okay. There is a lot of disconnect. So if these three are in sync, I think definitely uh, students will get better jobs. Wow. Thank you, Venkat sir, for this wonderful conversation out here together. Sure.
thank you viewers for watching uh, LND Connect Talks, uh, an initiative by LND Global Mumbai chapter. In collaboration with Pragati Software Solutions, a space for 